Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, and welcome to our webinar, The Cultural Safety for Indigenous Peoples, A Determinant of Health, along with Dr. Sarah DeLeo. This is a webinar co-facilitated, co-presented by the National Collaborating Centre for Aboriginal Health in partnership with Aboriginal Health in Northern Health, which is part of the Northern Health Authority in the central interior of British Columbia. Before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional territory of the Clay Clay Tene, where I'm sitting this morning presenting this webinar, and the Dakath speakers in the unceded territories of the Dakath people. The National Collaborating Centre for Aboriginal Health is part of a network of collaborating centres across Canada. And there's six of them that focus on different areas, such as the National Collaborating Centre for Environmental Health, Determinants of Health, Health for Public Policy, Infectious Diseases, Methods and Tools, and here in Prince George, British Columbia, the National Collaborating Centre for Aboriginal Health. And along with this, our co-facilitators and partners today is Aboriginal Health and Northern Health. To give you a little bit of background on the National Collaborating Centre for Aboriginal Health, you can see your slide here that its main goal is to support health equity for First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples in Canada. And so it covers across Canada, and it does this through promoting the use of Indigenous-informed evidence to transform practice, policy, and program decision-making across all sectors of the public health. And you can see that our areas of focus are social determinants of health, child, youth, and family health, emerging priorities, Indigenous public health, Indigenous knowledge, and knowledge translation. And along with us partnered in this today is the organization that I represent. I'm David Lowen, the lead of community engagement, education, and evaluation for Aboriginal health and Northern health. And the goal of our organization, and we represent roughly two-thirds of BC with the Northern Health Authority area and delivery area, so geographically diverse with many communities, over 54 identified Aboriginal communities, close to 80 communities in total, many different language groups and, and very diverse areas from the Northeast to throughout all the way to the coast. In Aboriginal Health and Northern Health, our goal is to contribute to optimal health and well-being for First Nations and Aboriginal people, families, and communities in Northern BC by supporting Northern Health to partner with First Nations and Aboriginal peoples to build a culturally safe health system. And our priority areas are the Northern First Nations Health and Wellness Plan, which we work and co in collaboration with the First Nations Health Authority and specifically the Northern Region of Regional Office. And our goals are to, in priority areas, are to enhance, cul enhance cultural competency and safety, knowledge translation services, evaluation of programs and services, and this is a part of, of my work on a day-to-day on a -day basis. Which leads me today to introducing our presenter, Dr. Sarah DeLeo. And as you can see on your slide here, she is an associate professor, Northern Medical Program at the University of Northern British Columbia, where I'm sitting today. She's a career investigator scholar with the Michael Smith Foundation for Health Research, and she is a research associate here with the National Collaborating Center for Aboriginal Health. And I've got a short bio that I will read here to give you a little bit more information on our presenter, and then I'll hand it over and let her go. So Dr. Sarah DeLeo grew up in northern British Columbia, a landscape which early on inspired her interests in cultural geographies, colonialism, and relationships between non-Indigenous and Aboriginal peoples. At its most fundamental, her research is focused on relationships between people in place. This often includes how people care for or account for each other, mobilize power in relation to each other, or even how they relate to each other creatively and or strategically. Specifically, she focuses on colonialism in British Columbia, child welfare and residential schools, and creative and artistic expressions as a means of disrupting power imbalances. Unquestionable links exist between one, historical and contemporary colonial activities, and two, the significant health disparities between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal peoples, both in Canada and around the world. Sarah DeLeo's research with the Northern Medical Program and the National Collaborating Centre for Aboriginal Health aims to expand understandings about colonialism, past and present, particularly as it was undertaken geographically, as a determinant of Aboriginal people's health. And thus, from coast to coast to coast, we welcome Dr. Sarah DeLeo here to speak to you about cultural safety. 